residents, you know. Uh huh. You made it a hot line. I made it a hot podcast. Hi, and welcome back to the Dead Presidential Society, the only podcast dedicated to presidents. You have done this intro so many times. Where every day is President's Day. We set the precedent in the present. This is episode number... This is actually the tenth time we've had to do this. Episode number... Nine. Hmm. William Henry Harrison. Ah! Yes. Ah! I'm James Fitz, president of the Hair Club for Men. My co-host is Doug Holmeyer, president of the Nicaraguan Society of East Germans. Mm -hmm. Our guest today is Matt Benoit, president of the East German Society of Nicaraguans. Yes, yeah. Uh, Doug and I agree to disagree on a few things. Hmm. Too bad East Germany isn't a country anymore. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, tough for, tough for both of you, looks really. Like I, well, looks like I, I, I still claim that one as a win. Oh. Mm. Um, well, should we start it off with our favorite first section? Sure. I don't know why I'm here, but I'm willing to listen. <laughs> That's what you're here for. This is your first time on the podcast. It is, it is. Yeah, so I, this, uh, is this is all new to me. So, yeah. First Wives Club. Ah. Mm. We got First Wives Club. Anna Henry Harrison. Anna Her Harrison? Anna Henry Harrison? Yes. Hottie Harrison? Hottie Harrison. Ooh. That was her nickname. Ooh, love. Oh, it was a presidential first lady's nickname. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um. Was frequently in bad health due to her many pregnancies. Yeah. Ten. Ten pregnancies. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But only two have blue hyperlinks on Wikipedia. Huh. So uh, one is John Scott Harrison, who it is remarkable. He is the only person in the history of... The world. I was just going to say in history. Oh, uh, that's even bigger. Really. Yeah. Yeah, really. Well, and really, that's a more concise way to say that. So. <laughs> to be both the father and the son of a U.S. president... And have his body stolen. Yes. He was also the grandson of Benjamin Harrison V, who mm. uh, signed the Declaration of Independence. Wow. Yeah. But Anna Harrison! Yeah, let's get back to that, Back Brian. to Anna. Oh, we never left. Mm. Even though she was sick all the time, she outlived William Henry Harrison by 23 years. Yeah, she did. Died at 88. Right, old age of 88. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Time for our next section. I call it unprecedented. That's unprecedented. Nah. Ah. That's clever. That's not. But it's about presidential firsts. Okay. Oh. First time that a president That makes sense. We should have done that section first. Yeah, that might have made more sense. Yeah, why, why do you do the first? Because it's ladies first? Is that just ladies. why? No, I guess so. Because ladies first. Okay. You know, actually, we've talked about some of the ladies. Yeah, we mm, We've talked about some of the females. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some of the males. I'm talking about the post office. Okay. Post office. I just wanted to say that, but I don't have anything for the post office. That's... Uh, should we go back to presidential first? Yeah, we probably should. Yeah. Right. That's unprecedented. He was the first president to be born in the same county as his vice president. Mm. That's unique. His vice president was John Tyler. <clears throat> mm. Future president. Yes. He was the next president. Yeah, one of the only bachelor presidents. Yes. We hardly have a First Wives Club for that section. For yeah, that exactly. Uh, Don't worry, we have four more to go until that. <coughs> I think. No, one more. No. He was the tenth president. John Tyler? No, uh, I lied. William Henry Harrison is the ninth president. <laughs> we'll go back and edit that then. Yeah. He was the first president not to appoint anyone to the Supreme Court. Hmm. Do you know why that is? He was lazy? No, he died. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he was only he in office for like a month, and then he got yeah. he got pneumonia and died, right? Mm -hmm. uh, he gave a very long speech. Yeah, very long. Yeah, that didn't happen. 8,000 words. That happened. He was the first president to give a speech longer than 5,000 words. Mm -hmm. And 6,000 words, and 7,000 words, and 8,000 words. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. All right. No, yeah. but he didn't die of pneumonia. But he got sick, though, right? Because he, he was out in the cold, and he <clears throat> gave the speech, and then... Yeah, but he died more than three weeks later. Okay. Which is not how pneumonia works. What did he die of? Septic shock. Ah, all right, that'll do yeah, it. Yeah, he went into the bathroom, and there was, there was, a, well, no, there was something the, very the, gross in the, the, uh, in the tank. 
No, actually, it was uh, yeah, no, no. It's when your power lines cross your plumbing lines. It's a whole different thing. Uh, uh, yeah. No, the water in the White better. House was like next to an untreated pile of sewage. Mm, good. It was like upstream of that. Yeah. So that'll do it. That'll do it. Yeah. <clears throat> he was the first president whose grandson was also a president. Interesting. Benjamin Harrison. Yeah. He was the. Yeah. You wouldn't remember him from our Benjamin Harrison episode. No, just from history class. Yeah. He was the first president to have his photograph taken while in office. No one's seen it since. Yeah, I've never seen a picture of it. Just paintings. Yeah, just just an oil painting. Yeah. The ham. Speaking of which... Should we go... Well, Well, that segues right into our... Yeah. We only have one ad, one sponsor. Okay. Presidentialham.com. And there is a lovely oil painting of... uh, Harrison holding a ham. Willie Hare. Yeah. Uh, so feel free to go onto the website, buy it, uh, and really just follow along with the podcasts. What does it look with? What does it look like? I want to see. Yeah, it. It's still loading. But... Oh my! It. Uh, yeah. What's he got in his in his right hand though? Because he's got the ham in the left. What does he have? A knife in the right. It's hand? kind of like a cornucopia. Yeah. It's. Uh, it's okay. A, oh, it's a corn- I think you're looking at his shirt. Maybe a. Not his shirt it. does kind of look like a knife, the white part of his shirt. Yeah, I think you're right. That is, yeah, it just yeah. looks weird. Hmm. Yeah, because usually you don't eat ham like in that, the whole ham. No, right. no. I go, I go whole hog, but not whole ham. <laughs> what a ham. He was the first president to be over <clears throat> the age of 65. But certainly not the last. 68. He was also the first president to be over the age of 66 and 67. Although not like 69. <laughs> he didn't make it that far. No, he no, died from septic shock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was the first president to be, have been a brigadier general. Mm. <clears throat> thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Which means we thank him for his service. Thank you. Uh, and we also thank Elizabeth Bassett Harrison for her cervix. Ah, that's, her, that's his mother? Yes. Yeah. Her name was, middle name was Bassett? Like the yeah. hound. Yeah. She got hounded a lot. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so should we go into another section? <clears throat> well, why? I don't what, he was a brigadier president. general? Yeah. Hmm. That's almost the modern major general. Is it? What did he general over? Just general know. things. Like, nah, not specifics. No. Nah, he a wasn't a brigadier general. specific. No. Nah, I see. A specific general. Well, he was uh, actually a general and the lead general in what was known as Tecumseh's War. Mm. You remember Tecumseh's War? Yeah. yeah. Rumpsy Dumpsy, he killed Tecumseh. Tippy Canoe and Tyler, too. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Tippy Canoe. Yeah. Tippy ca- I tell you, I've tipped a couple canoes in my day. I can believe that. Yeah. yeah. You look like someone that wouldn't be able to handle a canoe. <laughs> That's never. That's not a roast I ever thought I would use. Yeah, no, but it's true. It's a little bit it's true. Stick to kayaks. Yeah. 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 I'm scared. It's of hard kayaks. to have. Just it doesn't make sense to just paddle on one side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it, would, it hurts your knees, you know. Yeah. Because you do that hardcore canoeing, like oh. in the Olympics, right? Oh. Uh, you know where to stand on one knee and they go really it's hard. Like paddle boarding, though, isn't it? No. Oh, you mean in the in the kayak or the no in the canoe? In the canoe? Olympic canoeing. Okay, I've never done that. It's they use like a really short canoe, and they just they paddle real hard on one side, but they're just they're on one knee, one knee up. Huh. See, they're really strong. Those to me, canoe has always sounded like someone is mispronouncing the past tense of to know. Canoe. Yeah. Ah, I knew. Uh, I knew that. Yeah. Wasn't interesting or funny, so we'll just edit it out. Okay. Time for Heights of Power. <laughs> heights of Power. <laughs> ah. ah. How tall do you think he was, Matt? Harrison? Uh, William Henry Harrison strikes me as quite a tall figure. I'm going to say he was 6'3". Ooh. A little over. Yeah. Six feet tall. Hmm, okay. Exactly one fathom. Hmm. Yeah. Or three pairs of shoes. That's that makes sense. Yeah, uh, he's dead. Yeah, true. Very true. <clears throat> After uh, most, most former presidents are dead. Yeah, from septic shock. Mm. 
buried six feet Most under. Most of them died from septic shock? Just well, little known we fact. don't know that. Okay. You can't prove it. No. Well, you can if you go back and listen to our previous yeah. episodes. <clears throat> you can. Yeah. That's actually what they found JFK died of. Aggressive septic shock. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll cover that in our JFK episode. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you have septic shock so bad your head explodes, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's shocking. bad. That's shocking, yeah. Grassy knoll, actually just untreated sewage. Yeah, just a whole... That's why they never found the gunman who was on exactly. He got septic shock and died as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Presidential birthdays? Burr, burr, burr. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say William Henry Harrison was born uh, January 17th. Oh, we this is your closest one, one yet. February 9th. Mm. Oh, mm. That's less than a month away. Mm. Well, it's, uh, that that was actually leap year, so it's even slightly less than that. Oh. Mm. Well, yeah, okay, good. <clears throat> well, there's a 25% chance it was a leap year. Well, no, but he was born February 9th. Yeah. But not. The 29th. Not 20th. But there were more days in the year. True. Oh, so we had a so better ratio. We, like mathematically, you did better. Same day as uh, Thomas Paine. Uh-huh. Purportedly. And Carmen Miranda. Oh, and uh, what's this? George Campbell, fifth United States Secretary of the Treasury. Should we open up the cabinet? The cabinet, James? Ah, uh, no, I don't want. Yeah, that's fair. Open up the cabinet. Sounds like a good segment to me. Nah, yeah, it's well, not. It's not very good, actually. Okay. <laughs> the same day as Gus the Penguin, the Beanie Baby Penguin, and Joe Pesci. Mm. Now, uh, Joe Pesci and Gus the Penguin have a lot in common. Yeah, they yeah. were both born yeah. on February 9th. Yep. <laughs> yes. The same day as Mia Farrow oh. and uh, Peggy Whitson. Mm. She's an ast- the astronaut. Okay. She was just on the cover of uh, National Geographic. Cool. Oh. So we're going to presidential hair. Or lack thereof. Yeah, practically. Presidential hair or lack thereof. Um, he should you know, find a head of hair. He did yeah. have a fine head of hair. It outlasted him. Yeah, I Just think it does. Considering how decomposition works, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Because he had thin brown hair that grayed by the time he became president. That he combed rather carelessly straight down over his forehead. That's a bad look. Yeah, I've done that in the mirror and immediately undone it. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to go outside like that. I kind of do it, but the curls, it's not as bad. Mm. Yeah, you do have curly hair. Not like Doug, though. No. Doug has no curls. You got a little, a little wave. Mm. I am staunchly against all Canadian sports, so I don't let any curling allowed on my, on my body. Your entire body? My entire body, no curling. No curly allowed. ones, no short curlies. Okay, well that's. I I find clean. your this is the only time you've shown interest <laughs> in this podcast is when we're talking about my body hair. <laughs> I'm gonna let that slide, as we slide into. Oh, wait, uh, that quote was brought to you by Presidential Ham. Presidentialham.com. Yeah. Anyway, slide into what? Uh, well, we've, we've talked about pres- features of the presidents that aren't his teeth. But now let's talk about features of the president that are his teeth. Ah. Presidential. Minty fresh. Presidential? I don't know. <laughs> Talking about presidential. Presidential. Oh. Yeah. I think this yeah, might be our first presidential. I think maybe. No, oh, we did it George Washington. Washington, yeah. Yeah, you got to start at the, the first. He's the, he's the first for a lot of things. Yeah. Yes. First president to have teeth in general. <laughs> yeah, to have, I mean, the first president to have a... They weren't his, but... Yeah, the first president to have... Um, the body, actually. And yeah, everything. It, was, it, was, it was a long episode. He was the first yeah. president to eat a peach. Yeah. Eh. You can listen to the episode. Yeah. I'm actually. sure you already have. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, actually, it was someone else. Big James? Who ate the first peach? George Washington. Washington. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah that I makes remember. sense. George Washington didn't like peaches. Yeah. <clears throat> if you Google... He hated cherries. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he couldn't <laughs> lie. It's, Those yeah. other brothers can't deny. No. Did he have brothers? Yes. Well, yeah, George Washington? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he had a brother George. No, he had a brother Robert. Robert and George Washington. Mm. Robert Washington doesn't sound right. No, it doesn't. Hmm. If you Google William Henry Harrison teeth, the second thing that comes up is uh, Scrimshaw, which is a, it's, it's pol- it's a political campaign trophy. Or like an advertisement mm-hmm. on the tooth of a whale. Hmm. 
It's a, yeah. It's a scrimshaw. It is a it is political advertisement scrimshaw. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of dead things. Oh. That's the sound a ghost makes. Ooh. Yeah. Presidential ghosts. That's that's I like that one the most. Presidential ghosts. They don't exist. Actually, this one does. This one might exist. William Henry Harrison. William Henry Harrison supposedly haunts the White House attic. Hmm. There's <laughs> sightings of him over the years. There are not only sightings of him. Apparently, you can hear William Henry Harrison rummaging around for something. Probably a uh, coat. Probably a coat. Yeah. 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 He- I just like the idea of he's president for like 23 days. And then just stays there forever, looking for something. Mm -hmm. He's essentially puttering around. Yeah, I think he had the most unfinished business. Uh, Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, you don't. They talk about the first hundred days. He got twenty three. I just imagine him like arranging like coffee cans full of screws. Mm. Like that sounds like something my grandfather would have done. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's Give me an S. S? Give me an L. 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 G. A. N. Oh, that that spells slogan. It does. Mm. Presidential campaign slogan. Ah. Mm. One of the most famous of all time. Yeah. 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 Tippy Canoe and Tyler, too, right? Tippy Canoe yeah. and Tyler, too. Doug knows the whole song. <coughs> does he? Yep. Let's hear it. He's not going to sing it. Oh. That's the only reason I came on. I wanted to hear Doug sing. Oh. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I can sing Sorry something to, else. Sorry to disappoint. Uh, can you sing um, "Dream On" by Aerosmith? Not for copyright reasons. Sorry. Uh, that's totally fair. Can you sing uh, "Happy Birthday"? No, also not for copyright reasons. Mm. Can you sing uh, a different campaign song from a different president? Can you sing the Mickey Mouse theme song? I don't know that one. The start- oh, I do. M I C K E Y M O U S E. Mickey Mouse. Uh, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, also used to be at the Full Metal Jacket. Wow. Oh. Mm. Have you seen that film? I have. Yeah, but yeah. only the first half. Yeah, yeah, that's really the only first half of that. That's the only part of that movie worth watching. Yeah. Really? Honestly, once they leave boot camp. It's... Once it gets into the actual war, it's no longer yeah. pleasurable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah. <coughs> per- yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to hear a guy yell at another guy. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. It's... I think I've got septic shock. Oh, no. Should that be the end? Yeah, I think so. <coughs> thanks for coming on. Thank you very much, right, Thanks. Great guest. That's good. That's good. <laughs> it, I don't know what happened. Uh-huh. uh-huh.